Hello! Today we'll continue looking in creating our simple product and we'll uh, look deeply in advanced setting and uh, we'll talk about advanced pricing. First of all, adv advanced pricing gives you an option to add a group price, as you can see. In this case, you should press the, uh, the button group price uh, that opens the field where you can choose, first of all, a website. Here you should select a website or a website you want the product to be available from, but we have only one choice. Uh, next, to customer group. You can either choose non, not locked in, general, who sale or retailer. And uh, this means, and uh, next you should assign a unique price for your group product. For example, five. And here you can create as many groups as you like. And if you want to delete your group, just press action button. So, uh, here, as you can see, this group price, uh, different group prices will see different prices. Different groups of customers will see different prices. I'm so sorry. It means that if I'll put uh, who sale, uh, the customers who are not locked in will see, for example, 10 uh, dollars or rubles or euro. Uh, depending on what uh, currency you'll put on your site. And the one who will log in uh, will see, for example, five. And you can create, as I've already said, as many group prizes as you want for different groups of customers. Next, uh, go special price, where you can assign a discount or promotions to particular products. All you need to do is just add a special price in the allocated field here will put uh, three, for example. Uh, moreover, under the special price, there are fields where you can choose the promotion period by entering start and end dates. Here you can either print or choose from the calendar. For example, the promotion starts from today and ends um, tomorrow. Okay. Then don't, don't forget to assign a uh, cost of your product, let it be 10. Okay, in the advanced pricing page you can find the field name tire price. Tire pricing is a promotional tool that lets you uh, price items differently for higher quantities purchased. For example, if a customer buy 4 items he gets 25% discount. If 30% uh, percent discount, then it means that he bought 5 items and so on. In a tire pricing, you can also assign a website or websites. Then choose a customer group who will see this tire pricing. For example, all groups. Then quantity you wish to start the pricing at. Let it be at 2, for example. And... Um, Item price, it's a new price per item that will take effect at the quantity specified. For example, 3. Okay, and uh, you can also create as many tires as you want for different customer groups. And also if you want to delete, press delete a tire under the action column. So now everything is done, you set your advanced pricing, don't forget to save all the changes. Thank you for your attention.